But anyway, um, I think that um, what I have to say today is, uh, is, is not to say to you, vote oh, yes or no for the treaty. Okay? That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to provide you information. And, uh, you know, so our particular community, people, uh, which is the Pepehla from the north, here the, the, the Pepehla from the south is here. So you have your emblem here, and your frog places down. Our frog is there in the south. Okay? So where is that connection? Uh, that's an obvious connection between the between the northern spectrum and the, and the southern spectrum. Uh, so we got no signal now. Okay, now we got a signal. <laughs> <laughs> magic, so that's magic. That's magic. magic. Yeah. Ah. Like I said to Clark, I have I have this here for you if you want to take pictures of, of this one here. It'd probably be better. And you're only going to get a part of it when I do this here. So basically, the federal BC treaty process presentation extinguishment policy session one. So the extinguishment policy is what we want to talk about today. And what does that mean? What does that mean to the communities that they become, that they stay involved, and eventually attempt to uh, sign the treaty? Okay. So these are so this flag is called the Scotland Unity Flag, and that's been adopted by all the eleven communities. Okay, so that's uh, uh, a flag that uh, flies in a number of our communities. And so what it is, is, uh, is the 11 feathers that hang below the, 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 medis uh, the medicine wheel is the 11 communities. Okay, and of course the eagle speaks to vision, you know, and uh, the white which speaks to the purity of that vision. And the red speaks to the who we are as a people. We're the red earth people. And then the blue speaks to the to the crater. So all our laws flow from the crater. None of the, none of our laws are man, are human made. Okay, because we have a very close relationship with the crater in, in the past. More so than you do today. So, you know, the the, the sweat and all the spiritual practices we have are directly related to the, to the Creator. The Creator is the one that placed us on this land. Okay? The Creator is the one that placed us on this particular territory. And uh, at one time there were 17 communities that signed the Declaration of the Lola Tribe. Okay, now there's 11. Okay, but that doesn't mean that we don't recognize all 17. We do. Okay? So, but it's up to each community to keep those, those communities alive within your own community. Right? So at one time there were 17 chiefs. Cleveland Earth community has always had two chiefs. So if you look at the declaration, you'll see two chiefs that sign that. Today, we have that system in our community that we have two chiefs. We have a, 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 a tribal chief, not a political chief, a tribal chief, and a community chief. And uh, we did that because it gets way too busy to operate, you know, as a, as a chief to be looking after the community and traveling around in the world and doing all that. He just get worn out, like I did. So at some point I said to the community, I can't do this anymore. So they asked me what I wanted to do. And I said, well, let's create a tribal chief position and, and, and a community chief position so that we can spread the workload. The tribal chief, which I held, is responsible.